What is going on fam? It's Weezy back here again with another video and in this episode I would like to share my latest experience in Los Angeles and I must say it was a beautiful experience. I went out there for about eight days with my girl and she made us explore damn near the entire city. We stayed in a little quiet town called Echo Park which isn't too far from downtown LA and it was a very convenient location to get from place to place and we traveled to places like the Rose Garden, Grand Park, Venice Beach, Santa Monica Beach, Beverly Hills, North Hollywood, West Hollywood, the museums, the park of Echo Park, which we stayed in. And that park is pretty cool, by the way. And my favorite was the grocery store. <laughs> and we, damn. And one night from the grocery store, we took about a 30 minute long walk to go home carrying heavy ass groceries up about 30 long hills. And I don't know why we didn't like call an Uber or a Lyft to come get us, but the experience is cool, so it was fun. And calm down, calm down. I already know what you guys are thinking. Did you eat tacos? Well, you damn skippy we did, and we ate plentiful. Now, in my opinion, the best two taco spots in the country are Tequila and Kogi Taqueria. And yes, both of these spots are located in LA. Now the tequila spot in North Hollywood has one of the best happy hour, damn. Now tequila in North Hollywood has one of the best happy hour specials for both their drinks and their tacos. And Kogi Taqueria just has the best tacos hands down. And they're like a Korean Mexican taco spot. And we also ate at three other really good spots, which is Jane's Beach that is located on Venice Beach and two other spots which is near the Staples Center, and I don't know the name of them off the top of my head, but I will put them in the video so you guys can see it. Now, I know I'm going on a rant about the food, but honestly, the reason I love LA so much is because it's very fashion-oriented, relaxing, colorful, the scenery is beautiful with the palm trees, the sun is almost always out as it is now, the food tastes so fresh and delicious, you get great portions so you're getting your money's worth. The beaches are amazing, dogs are allowed almost everywhere, the shopping malls are beautiful, and they carry the brands that I love to wear. And you could just do so much in and out of LA. And prior to visiting LA for the first time, which was last year, I've been told that all LA people are stuck up and rude, and I just have three words for them people. Y'all are tripping. Because while I was out there, everyone just seemed so helpful and nice and like knowledgeable about uh, the whole area of LA. And also with just my personality, my character, my demeanor overall, I know that I fit in that area perfectly. And I've said this before, but I'll say it again, just to speak it into existence. LA is going to be my next home and I'm going to strive for it to my fullest extent and make it become my reality. And my second experience there has been another great success. My girl was able to help me create a lot of nice content and she was able to help me reveal my latest Sunrise project. And, you guys should go check out that dope editorial on my website, which is www.constructivecreations.com. But honestly guys, my favorite moments was experiencing everything and taking it all in with our own two eyes by using our phones at a minimum so we can really enjoy each other's company and continue to grow with one another. Oh, and I forgot, I purchased some nice things while I was out there, a couple pair of shoes and some nice garments from Zara and my favorite brand, Kos. So I'll be doing a styling and review video for those. So stay tuned for that. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Los Angeles, California for being as beautiful as it can be. And I can't wait to call that city my permanent home. And I wanna thank you guys for watching this episode on why I love LA so much. And I will see you all next week for Monday's Motivation. Peace.